I don't know if this is the stupidest or greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Hi, what's up? How are we today? It's Mebby and I've done it. I've accomplished my dream. You see, my family had the opportunity to go to Texas this summer and they asked if there was anywhere in Texas that we would like to visit. When they said that, my sister and I agreed that there was only one option, Galveston, Texas. Iconic location of a rainforest cafe and I am being dead when I say this is the reason why we chose Galveston, Texas. You may be thinking that flying across the country just to go to a rainforest cafe is a really sad dream. But this isn't just any old rainforest cafe. No, this is the only rainforest cafe in the whole world that has a water ride. It still sounds a little bit sad. It's, that's not making it any better really. But anyways, yes, if you are unaware, the Rainforest Cafe in Galveston is home to a water ride. And basically, as soon as I discovered this, I made it my one goal to go visit this place. And because this dream of mine was finally being accomplished, I decided to vlog like it for you guys. guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'll stop that. But anyways, now I present to you the greatest, not really, day of my life. Oh, I didn't like that. It's 5 a.m. I went to sleep at 2 a.m. And we're already eating. We're already taking on the day and slaying it away. Now in all seriousness, I haven't vlogged in seven months, so I'm very nervous. And it's this vlog is probably going to be sh so I'm sorry, but I, it probably is. But you know, I always like a good vlog. I always like a good travel vlog. So that's what we're doing today. Just to think, in less than 12 hours, I will be sitting in the Rainforest Cafe Galveston. And I might even be riding the Rainforest Cafe water ride. The only Rainforest Cafe with a water ride in the world. Can you believe this, guys? This is insane. This is the biggest day of my life. Again, this vlog is probably going to be pretty sh so I am sorry. Also, we have a mic a little sh mic right here it doesn't sound like i'm making a 2018 youtube vlog yeah but i like 2018 youtube vlogs so that's what you're f getting i don't know what you want to say like you can't complain about it anyway let's let's go let's let's dance let's, let's dance. dance okay um i we're going to the airport now <laughs> Oh my god, I have cinematic mode on. It's a really cinematic moment. <laughs> I'm low-key scared right now. I just don't like security. <laughs> I think they're like they're gonna take me away for something I haven't done. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sweating a lot right now. <laughs> That's never happened. Oh my god. I was joking before. <laughs> I did leave scissors in my backpack though, and I was like, oh, he pulled those out. I was like, oh no. I, I, I saw you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you're like, oh. <laughs> and, and then you put it back, you're like, oh, okay. Well, the thing is, like, I looked for them. I knew there were scissors in there, and I looked for them. And then he pulled them out. Yes, and then, I, and then I'm like, I looked for my scissors, and they, I didn't find them, and then he found them for me. So, it's okay though. It's chill. Everything's chill, and everything's okay. Airport aesthetic. So despite me accidentally sneaking scissors into my carry-on, we made it to our gate all right. So once we were finally settled, my sister, her boyfriend, and I decided to go get some breakfast at Dunkin', which I was very excited for considering I woke up at 5 a.m. with three hours of sleep. However, on the way to the Dunkin' in our terminal, we got a call from my mom saying that they were already boarding the plane. Now this was at like 7 a.m. and we were scheduled to fly at 7.40, so really it, it makes sense that they were boarding, but I was extremely disappointed. Why now, of all times, did this flight have to be on time? I really wanted my f***ing Dunkin', okay? So we snatched some stuff from the convenience store and hopped on the plane to fly to the happiest place on earth. Houston, Texas, baby. <laughs> Time for me to become a Houston, Texas baby. Is that your baby impression? Yeah. <laughs> Once we had landed, I was taken aback by all of the Texas pride and heat. It, it was, was so hot. hot. But we had to go grab a rental car in order to drive down to Galveston. Because again, we were in Houston, Texas. Baby. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. I don't think I should have worn this outfit. The bitch, I go so hard. 
That check goes so hard. I'm walking around with trolls on my shirt. Look, he's so hot. I could kiss this face right here. <laughs> I gotta take off the jacket. Strip tease. Baby. <laughs> After acquiring our carriage that would take us to the Holy Land road trip, we had to also make a pit stop at the grocery store in order to make sure we wouldn't starve on this vacation. Because unfortunately, we weren't allowed to have every meal at the Rainforest Cafe. Despite my arguments with my parents, they just wouldn't budge on that one for some reason. But we had to hurry because our reservation at this magical place was at 2 p.m. and it was already like 11 or 12 or something. I don't really remember. It was late in the day, it was getting close. So after another hour, Hour of driving we finally made it to our rental and started to get ready to go to our final location okay goodness is there any place with better lighting vlogger moment okay yeah that's okay okay hey <laughs> hey um So we just got to the house and we're leaving in T minus 20 minutes to go to this rainforest cafe. And I look like a slob. And seeing as this is the biggest day of my life, I don't want to show up in a troll shirt. By the way, I bought this for ironic purposes, not for, not cause I don't, I don't, it's like, it's, for, it's, uh, it's ironic. But moving on, <laughs> I have to get into my safari gear and look presentable for all the mascots of the Rainforest Cafe, obviously. Oh. So I'm gonna change and then we're gonna go and I'm going to have the best meal of my life and the best water ride experience, if it's still open. If the water ride isn't open, I don't even know why we came. Okay, outfit transformation time. Isn't that crazy? You can't really see the full fit, but don't I look like I'm about to go an adventure? I think a true safari enthusiast would have modesty, okay? Both buckles buckled. Here, let me stand up and give you the full fit. That doesn't work, hold on. See, fit check. Ew! God, oh my God, my legs. <laughs> I was planning on saying something really like badass or cool after that, but I feel like you can't do anything badass or cool after that. Um, let's go to the Rainforest Cafe. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. This is the biggest adventure of our entire life. And I'm about to eat it up real good. Literally, I'm going to get so many safari fries. Oh my god, it smells like it smells like a water ride. It literally it literally smells like Disney World. <laughs> this is my Disney World. This is genuinely insane. Oh my god. There's so much rainforest cafe in here. It's so preppy in here. And once we got there, I mean, the energy was explosive right off the bat. I mean, we were already starting off with a thunderstorm as soon as we walked in. There's a thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm really ready. There's a thunderstorm. I'm really scared. Why is this kind of frightening? Sorry guys, I have trauma from growing up in the Midwest. After our waiter seated us, I just sat there and basked in this amazing environment. I will say the menu was confusing at times. I can't like look at the menu and assume what's on there because everything is like rasta pasta and sh like that. Like I don't know what the f that means. And they were absolutely blasting 2000s pop music, which actually made me feel more interconnected with my childhood self. So actually it wasn't a horrible thing. After we ordered and got our drinks, our waiter said we were free to walk around, which is odd. I mean, yes, I did want to appreciate the theming of the restaurant, but it also just involved me walking around people's tables when they were eating and having their own conversations and stuff. It was really awkward, but I mean, the pretty, pretty animals, pretty fake animals animals yeah also i was seated right under this monkey and was concerned that it was going to shit on my food i didn't know if they had implemented real shitting and pissing into their animals but if they had it would have been doing it on my food and i was concerned but once we got back to our seats it wasn't long before we got our food now i genuinely did not know what to expect from the food here but oh my 
God. Oh my God. I got the pulled pork burger and guys, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. This was the best burger I've ever had in my life. I still don't even know what to say. Anyways, I absolutely devoured that burger likely because it was my first actual meal of the day at 2 p.m. Or it was just really good. After we were all done with our meals, we had one extra task to accomplish before riding the legendary water ride using the bathrooms. Just kidding, but if you were wondering, they weren't that great. They were kind of gross. Now my family never gets desserts at restaurants ever, but there is an iconic volcano cake that the Rainforest Cafe has and it was my birthday. So it, like this was an absolute necessity really. Okay. We have a special guest tonight. Can you guys please stand up for me? Cha-cha on three. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Although this was mildly embarrassing as a now 19 year old in a restaurant, um, I could care less. It's my birthday and I'm in the Rainforest Cafe. Finally, after also demolishing that, it was time to ride the Rainforest Cafe water ride. My dream was about to come true. We hopped on the ride and embarked on the journey that we had flown across the country for. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm so confused. <laughs> what is happening? I don't think there is a storyline. I like how you can clearly see the projector up there. I mean, it smells really good in here, but nothing's really happening. Oh my God. Is it dying? Stop shooting it. Why did we just witness an animal die? I didn't sign up for this. Whoa, 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 oh my God. Why is he moaning? It's moaning. <laughs> Life has changed forever, to be honest. Yeah, I'll never be the same. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the end of this ride, I didn't know if I should be left astounded, confused, st starstruck, or, or disappointed. There was a lot of emotions happening. I mean, from the projector that I could clearly see, the animals that do not live in rainforests, but were still present on the ride, <laughs> the weird green screen explosions and the confusing plot, I didn't know what to think. I mean, we might've died and like, that's how the ride ended. Honestly, I, I don't know. I do not know what, what this ride was, <laughs> but I did know one thing. Once we had gotten off of that ride, I had finally accomplished my goal, my life's mission. And now it was time for me to find a new dream. So with a heavy heart, I said goodbye to the Rainforest Cafe and all the happy memories and magic it now holds. There's an ocean here? What? I thought we only came for the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Then I flew all the way back home. I did nothing else when I was in Texas. Absolutely nothing. I literally went to Texas for the Rainforest Cafe. I'm not lying right now. I would never lie to you guys. And because I would never lie to you guys, that means you guys should subscribe. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this kind of vlog, let me know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, do whatever you want. And I hope you have a great day and I love you. Bye. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna stop the video now.